welcome back to the SST classroom. Now my dear children, in the last three video, we discussed about the lesson number 13 that is environment. Right? So my dear children, in today's video, we are going to discuss about that how we can save our environment. Got it my children? But before starting that concept, first we will have a short recap of what we have learned in the last three videos. Okay? So are you ready? Now let's start. First we have discussed about what is environment. Can you tell me what is environment? Everything surrounding us and affecting us is called environment. Got it my children? So my dear children, what make our environment? Both living and non-living make our environment. So you can see here in the picture, all the plants and animals are living, right? And table, chair, table, chair, car, lamp, these all are non-living. Got it, my children? Then let us hear what we have discussed. The air we breathe, the water we drink, and the place where we live in, this make our, is a part of our environment. Got it, my children? So, my dear children, to live a healthy life, what we have to do? We have to keep our environment clean. Got it, my children? So, now, as we throw many things as a waste. What do you know children? So some of this waste, they decay. So I explain you the waste which decay, which bury under the soil. That waste is known as biodegradable waste. Got it my children? And the waste which do not decay and it remains for a longer time, that waste is known as non-biodegradable waste and that non-biodegradable waste is pollute our environment. Got it my children? And then we have discussed about the pollution. There are four types of pollution. So can you tell me which are the four types of pollution? That is air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution and noise pollution. These are all four types of pollution. Got it my children? So what we have discussed about the air pollution. What is air pollution? When harmful things, when harmful gas mixed with the air that makes air pollution. That makes air dirty. So what is the proper definition of pollution? That Harmful things that are mixing the harmful gases that are mixing the air cause air pollution. What is my children? So my dear children, what are the causes of air pollution? That is smoke from factories. Smoke from factories. Smoke from factories and vehicles. Bursting of firecrackers. Burning of garbage, this makes the air polluted. Got it? These are the causes of air pollution. Now, my dear children, because of air pollution, what we have, what, what problem we can face? What are the problems because of air pollution? Such as cough, skin allergies, and asthma. Because of air pollution, the people can face this problem. Got it, my children? I hope you have understood about the air pollution. Now let's discuss the second water pollution. What we have learned about the water pollution? Harmful things that are released in the water cause water pollution. So, my dear children, what are the causes of water pollution? Washing clothes, utensils, and bathing near the riverside, near the water, near the river, this makes the water very dirty. 
What is and what problem human being face because of dirty water like cholera, jaundice and skin problem. These are all the problems which human being face if the water is very dirty. Got it? And the letter one is called the third one soil pollution. Soil pollution harmful things that are entering the soils create cause the soil pollution. Got it? And in that we have discussed about the two types of waste that is biodegradable waste and non-biodegradable waste. Got it my children? Then let us discuss about the last one that is the noise pollution. So what makes the noise pollution? When the air is filled with a loud noise it causes noise pollution. The noise which irritates to our ears, which troubles to our ears, that is a noise pollution. So my dear children, what we discuss about what are the causes of noise pollution? That is loud music system, loud speaker on the road, honking of the vehicles such as car, bus, so this make noise pollution. Got it? And what problem human being can face because of noise pollution? Human being can face the problem like hearing loss, headache, irritation in ears, etc. So these are the causes of, these are the problems because of noise pollution. So my dear children, let's today discuss about how we can save our environment. So my dear children, to stop air pollution, what we can do? Grow more trees. Right? Second, don't burst fire crackers. Got it my children? Walk or use cycle for short distance. Use public transport to reach office. So these all are all the things which can stop air pollution. Got it? And to stop soil pollution, what we can do? Use paper bag or cloth bag instead of polythene and plastic. Got it, my children? And to stop water pollution, what we can do? We should not wash clothes, utensils and bath near the river side. Got it my children? So these all are the things which we can do to save our environment. I hope you will follow all these rules to save our environment. So what you can do? How you can save environment? Grow more trees. Right? Don't burst fire crackers. And walk or use cycles in a short distance. And use public transport instead of to use public transport to reach office. Got it my children? And to stop soil pollution, use paper bag or cloth instead of polythene and plastic. And do not wash clothes, utensils, etc. near the river sites. Okay? I hope you have understood that how you can save your environment. So if you want to live a healthy life, if you want to be healthy, you have to protect your environment. Okay, dear